let me tell you all about one of the best days, if not craziest circumstances in my entire life. Hello everybody, welcome back to episode number 5 of the J12 series, David Naughton and the guy from Clerks. I hope everybody out there is doing well, and yes, the elephant is in the room, I got rid of the beard, just basically because I was bored and I got sick of drooling in my beard when I sleep, and waking up at 3.30 in the morning with a soaked face and having to wipe it off with a beard rag. And just a reminder to everybody, every story you hear in this series is absolutely 100% true. It's all about me. It is what has happened to me. And I have no issues making fun of myself and making light of myself. Maybe making people laugh after everything that's going on. After we've entered just about one month now into this, I guess you would say, lockdown, this virus pandemic. So I hope this is an escape for all of you out there as we are on the quest to 50 subscribers right here on youtube.com forward slash sentai ace once we get the 50 subscribers everybody as of this morning we are only 10 away when we get to 50 i will release a video of something i have not done in 12 years some of you can speculate but i'm going to put it out there live for everybody to see and i will say it does make me a wee bit nervous but i'm going to do it I want to provide entertainment, I want to provide content here on this channel, just so people don't have to think of everything going on. You're stressed out, I'm stressed out. I wake up every morning, how the hell am I going to get through the next day when it comes to you know, bills and all this stuff, but we're all going to get through it, so let's do it through, I don't know, making each other laugh, making us come out of our shells a little bit. So that's what I'm doing this for you, I'm doing this for me here at the J12 series. So kick back, enjoy, and have fun with this story because it's kind of nuts. So let's rewind the clock back to 2006. This took place at the Horror Hound movie convention in Monroeville, Pennsylvania. Why was I there? Basically the fact that me and my group of friends, we were a part of a horror comedy collective. We put out movies, 10 I believe, 10 or 11 movies to be precise. It's a possibility you might see some clips on this channel. There is also movie trailers over at the DSK Productions channel. They're very old, so I hope you guys enjoy those. But we did horror comedy movies. We basically hung out twice a week, we filmed improv movies, and then we would sell them at conventions. So in order for us to get our name out there more, we would go outside of our area, Pittsburgh, Cleveland and such, and try to promote our product, and then again, meet some of the celebrities that really meant a lot to us. So my buddies and I all packed up in a car, about six of us, went to Monroeville, got a hotel room, and crammed all of our asses into one hotel room just to meet two guys, for me anyways. That was Brian O'Halloran, he played Dante in the movie Clerks, directed by Kevin Smith, and then the second person who I was over the moon for was David Naughton. Now, David Naughton, some of you might know, he was the Dr. Pepper jingle guy in the 70s. He also featured a song in one of my favorite movies growing up as a kid, the movie Meatballs, which was Bill Murray's first movie in 1979. He had a smash hit called Making It. Now, going to this horror movie convention, I wanted to set myself apart because most of these people are just gonna have eight by 10 sign or an American Werewolf in London poster. I went to eBay and purchased a 45, uh, 45 album of vinyl of David Naughton doing a single of Making It. So Whorehound was a Friday, Saturday, Sunday thing. We stayed Friday night and Saturday night. Basically it was an excuse to hang out with your buddies and get drunk, buy movies, buy posters, get merch, but mainly hang out with your buddies. So that first day I meet Brian O'Halloran from Clerks. What an awesome dude, down to earth, never let anything get to his head. He genuinely cared for people that appreciated his work and that meant everything to me. Because sometimes I've met celebrities where they think their shit doesn't stink 
and they don't give a crap, all they care about is the $30 you're paying to get their autograph, him, he, he just sat there, he talked to you, he really appreciated it. So, after that, I was excited, and so I was amped up to meet David Naughton, and I had no clue this was going to go where I thought it was going to go. So after the convention was over on Friday night, we all decided to, let's get back, drink more, because that's just what we did. We went down to the hotel bar, and down at the hotel bar, they were offering karaoke. I'm excited because I karaoke like a fiend. I'm, I'm just gonna say it, I might be the best karaoke in the entire world. If you've ever seen me do Rapper's Delight, at seven and a half minutes, three parts, I fully memorize it, I do it. That's just what I do. However, I was figuring, hey, it's gonna be crowded, I can show off, because that's kind of what I wanted to do was show off. We get there, there's nobody there. There's absolutely nobody there. And I'm kind of getting a little peeved, a little disenchanted, and I kind of wanted to leave. And then my buddies are basically like, just, we just got here, let's give it 30 minutes. Let's give it 30 minutes, it might pick up. And I was like, fine, because all I wanted to do was basically go back to the hotel and drink. So I stayed. Bunch of us there, and all of a sudden, all the celebrities start rolling. Uh, Bob Bradley, who played, is it Bob Bradley? I can't remember, he played Pinhead in Hellraiser. That guy's a complete dick. And he came across that way at the bar. However, I digress. So everybody starts rolling in, all the stars that were featured there. Brian O'Halloran rolls in, the place is picking up. So, I will never forget this next part, which led into the next day and cemented it as one of the best days of my life. Well, the hotel bar is jam-packed. Karaoke is starting to go off. Now, before I go up, there is an ex-Marine named Buzz. I will never forget Buzz. This guy, probably in his 60s at the time, he's performing, he's dancing, Buzz brought the house down. So I figured if there's a chance, because I didn't see David Naughton there, if there's a chance that Naughton might be there or he shows up, I want to do his song, Making It, and of course I memorized it. I get up, I start performing, Making It. I start walking around, I'm not looking at the screens. Everybody is going crazy, because I'm nailing it. It's like the stars aligned. After I do the song, we're all sitting at our table. Brian O'Halloran, this guy, the man, the myth, the legend, came up to our table and he said, and I quote, where the fuck is Naughton? Where the fuck is Naughton? He came up and just hang, hung out with us the rest of the night. He sat there with us, shot the shit. Brian O'Halloran texted David Naughton and kept asking him, where the hell are you? You need to be here. This guy just did your song and he hit it perfectly. So the rest of the night, we sit there. We're drinking with Brian O'Halloran. He's buying us drinks. It was one of the greatest nights ever because I'm hanging out with the guy from Clerks. Basically, because I just did David Naughton's song thing and David Naughton might show up and I'm figuring the dream would be David Naughton would come in, Spotlight would show, he'd come up and we'd duet making it. That was the thing. Next morning, we get to the, the convention hall, basically when it first opened. So some of the celebrities are rolling in. I get there, Brian O'Halloran locks eyes on all of us. He says, get over here. And he, he started talking about how great last night was. And then the next thing you know, what I didn't know was David Naughton's handler was hanging out with us that night. He never brought it up. So he comes over to the table and he's like, dude, you rocked the house last night. It was awesome. I told David about it. And I was like, what? He's like, come over here. David Naughton was there that morning signing autographs. I go over, I meet David Naughton and Dave basically said, Hey man, I didn't get the text till late night. I went out to dinner with my wife. If I would have known about it, I would have been at the bar and we could have done the song together. And he's like, I heard how great you did. I heard how awesome it was. And O'Halloran comes back over, puts his arm around me. And he's like, I tried texted you. I said, where the fuck is not? And it was amazing. So David Naughton just starts talking to me about making it and all this stuff. And of course, I had my vinyl record for him to sign and he got a kick out of it because he even said, nobody brought this to be signed. So here is the picture of me meeting David Naughton. And on it says, Jim, 
you're making it, David Nunn. It's the fact that Naughton even said that if he would have been there that night, me and him would have did that song together. And that alone blows my mind. So basically, <laughs> that's the story in a nutshell, folks. It was really exciting for me that I got to meet somebody who did a song when I was a kid that meant the world to me from a movie that meant a lot to me. And I met Brian O'Halloran, who basically brought the whole thing together in order for me to meet Naughton, in order for me to get an in with David Naughton. And I have one of the best memories of my life. Next time, episode six, we start getting into the meat and potatoes of things that slowly started going in a direction. And don't forget, trying to get the 50 subs. When I get the 50 subs, I'm going to release that special video. And it's going to be live, and then I'm going to archive it right here on this channel, youtube.com forward slash Sentai Ace. Please smash the like button, hit the notification bell, keep subbing, spread the word, everybody. Stay safe, stay socially distant. We're going to get through this on the other side. I love you guys. Thank you for supporting me. Remember, if you guys know me, if you need me, let me know. Reach out. We'll be there for one another, everybody. See you on the flip side. Goodbye and good night. Mwah!